video. Hello everyone, I'm your commentator MJ. We are coming live all the way from Little Rock, Arkansas tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest get to pour one fall on their way to the ring. The team of Rhea Ripley and Dirty Dominic Mysterio, the Judgment Day. Well, we're kicking off tonight with the annual Mixed Match Tag Team Tournament. We do this every once a year. And let's just pray and hope there are no difficulties in this tournament late, like late last year. Yeah, no doubt about it. There were difficulties on the tag. And it looks like that fixed. That, let's just hope that this gets fixed right here and now. But no difficulties of what's going on as of late. Yeah, well, Dominic got off lucky last night. More likely late last month. Taking out his father, Rey Mysterio, once again for a third time. Well, Dominic got off lucky the third time. But as far as I do know, this is a mixed match tag team tournament where the winners will meet in the finals at the big event, TNW Las Vegas in your house A. As we're kicking off with this team, Mighty Molly, and of course the Hurricane, and their opponents first. From parts unknown, Mighty Molly! Well, it's been a long time since Mighty Molly and the Hurricane teamed up. But I think we might see that super handshake. Or likely that superhero handshake they have always done in the past. <laughs> well, it's great to see Mighty Molly back in a TNW ring. Well, don't forget, folks, coming up later on is our number one get tendership match from our eight divas over the top rope battle royal. Yeah, no doubt about it where the winner will receive a TNW Divas U.S. title shot against Captain Professor. And here comes the Hurricane. Oh, man. What an ovation. And her partner, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Hurricane. Well, the Hurricane has arrived. And after late last year for the Hurricane, he gave it his all at the last year's eight-man battle royal that had that matchup with Gigi Pete for the TNW International World Heavyweight Championship. And from the looks of it, I think they may have done that superhero handshake in the back. <laughs> but yet though, the Hurricane, former ACW Tag Team Champions with Fox McCloud, and no doubt about it. And man, I just love seeing the Hurricane and Mighty Molly may dish out some justice tonight. Hurricane showing some support to, to Mighty Molly there after their hero, heroic moments back in the old days since late 2001 to late 2002. Yeah, no doubt about it. Rhea Ripley right now dominating a Hall of Famer and a legend within the corner. But don't forget, this is a normal tornado. This is a normal mixed match tag team tournament. And Mighty Molly with a bulldog right off the corner on Rhea Ripley. Yeah, well, don't forget the winner of this match will meet the next tag team in the semifinals because we not only got one part of the tournament, we have two. Yeah, no doubt about it. We, we have our tournament to continue on coming up later on our third matchup because coming up next after this match, as we're being told that the Street Profits are set to defend their tag titles against a mystery team. Returning to TNW. Yeah, we have no idea who it is, but we're going to find out coming up next after this matchup's all said and done. No doubt about it. Yeah, but listen to this crowd. Showing no appreciation to Rhea Ripley as Rhea makes the tag to Dirty Dominic Mysterio and Molly getting out of the ring. Well, Mighty Molly getting the heck out of ringside, getting the heck out of the ring there on the apron. And now the men are settling it right here and now. No doubt about it. Whoever gets tagged in has to win by pinfall or submission. And remember, none of these men cannot lay a hand on any of their partners because if they do, then that's a disqualification. No doubt about it. Those are the rules of this mix match, of this mix match tag team tournament. Dominic cannot lay a hand on Mighty Molly. Hurricane cannot lay a hand on Rhea Ripley. Yeah, no doubt about it. As Dirty Dominic Mysterio wasting no time going to work on the Hurricane. 
Yeah, let's just pray and hope the Judgment Day don't make it to the semifinals next week for next week's show because Cool 412 has been irate after Dominic's win late last month as Dominic is in trouble. Shining Wizard by the Hurricane. Well, the Hurricane tagging back in Mighty Molly and Dominic needs to get out of the ring. And there's a clothesline by Rhea Ripley from out of nowhere. Yeah, it looks like the Judgment Day are dominating this fight. Nothing of what's on the line here for the opportunity. Because don't forget the winners of this match will receive future title matches at any time. Well, lately for received not only future title matches, but has to give a shout out to their favorite YouTube channels. Yeah, no doubt about it. And Mighty Molly right now has got Rhea Ripley in a submission hold. Yeah, well, don't forget Rhea Ripley... Trying to fight back her she's got to try to keep her title opportunities alive, along with her, her dumb dumb, as she as she as she as she calls them. I'm a little mixed up tonight, folks. I forgot to mention we are coming alive in Little Rock, Arkansas, and already the home state of one of the greatest YouTubers of all time, Charles Jones. Yeah, Charles Jones is a legend. Don't forget that. But we have no idea of what's next. For TNW, ACW, and the HWF. Yeah, but don't forget that war we're still having with the bloodline. Nothing of what's on the line here. Not that bad. And The Rock already sold his soul to the freaking devil after joining sides with his cousin, Roman Reigns. Yeah, well, Rhea Ripley's got the indomitable stretch locked in on Mighty Molly. And Mighty Molly escaped it with a hurricanrana into an incredible head scissors. And Molly, wait a minute. Rhea Ripley with a counter. Mighty Molly was trying to pay homage to China. And it looked like Mighty Molly got countered from Rhea Ripley. And the ultimate show of disrespect. Dominic catching the Hurricane with a drop kick right to the face. Springboard Moonsault catching Hurricane off guard. And Dirty Dom may go back to the old playbooks. Ripley there to make the count. And the Hurricane got the left shoulder up at one. Yeah, but it looked like Mighty Molly knew better. She can't lay a hand on Dominic or that would be a disqualification. Hurricane now, hip tossed by Dominic. Yeah, well, Dirty Dom, still in his 20s, along with Colt 412. Like a lot of issue is still going on between Dirty Dominic Mysterio and Colt 412. And I got a feeling it's going to be an awful, it's going to be an ugly night thus far. Oh, it is Little Rock, Arkansas. Wait a minute, the hurricane nipped up. Riff hit a four count. Snapmare. And oh, wait a minute. Come on, Riff. Get him off him. And Dominic cheating any way he can. Riff only gets a, only counts the one. And Dominic is not happy about it. And yeah, well, Dominic needs to get over it and stay focused on this match of what's on the line here for her, for him and Rhea Ripley. Yeah, no doubt about it. His mummy, nevertheless. And oh, wait a minute. We saw him do this last month to his father, Rey Mysterio. Not a 619. Whoa, wait a minute. The Hurricane caught the boots. Yeah, well, don't forget the Hurricane is familiar with that move. And it looks like Hurricane has got Dominic Ree wants him. The inverted elbow. Right to the face. Cover, is that it? No, gets a one count. Hurricane thought he had it there. Dominic rolling out of the ring and avoiding hostile waters. And Hurricane flew right over the top rope. Now that's a mad superhero who can fly. What's up with that? Referee beginning his count at one there. And Hurricane launching Dominic in that barricade. Don't forget if Mo Mighty Molly and Hurricane win here tonight. They'll, they'll advance to the semifinals of what's on the line. No doubt about it. Uh oh, Hurricane looking for it. His impatient finishing maneuver. The cover. Is that it? Two. And Hurricane and Mighty Molly win. What a win for these mass superheroes tonight. Here are your winners the team of Mighty Molly and the Hurricane.
And these mad superheroes advance to the semifinals next week. Well, what a win for Mighty Molly and the Hurricane. The Hurricane and Mighty Molly shut the Judgment Day up tonight. Yeah, well, right now, though, folks, stick around. Coming up next, the Street Profits putting their championships on the line against a mystery team returning to TNW. Well, whoever it is, good luck. That matchup is huge, and it's live, and it's next. And we are back live here in Little Rock, Arkansas. And wait a minute. I know that music. It's Kevin Owens. Owens is back. But don't forget, he's a TNW legend. Leads on the following contest. Is a Tornado Tag Team match good to for one fall? And it's for the TNW and ECW World United States Tag Team Championships. Introducing the challengers first. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. I don't believe it. I don't want to believe it. Kevin Owens is back on TNW, but, but how? Well, from the looks of it, it looks like Quote 412 has forgiven Kevin Owens after his past mistakes on TNW, after all the disrespect, and it looks like Kevin Owens is rehiring the TNW. Oh, I know who that is. Sami Zayn. The, and from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn. Unbelievable. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, the two best friends, are back together. Oh, well, wait a minute. I think I knew why Cool 412 has re-signed Sami Zayn to TNW. Don't forget the history of the bloodline and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Yeah, but let's not also forget the bloodline had that war with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens a year ago and won the Unified Tag Team Championships. Yeah, no doubt about it. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are here for a fight and they want to prove why they should be returning to a TNW ring. But let's say, see how they fare against the Street Profits. Well, here they come. Well, the champions are now on their way to the ring of what's on the line here, their championship gold. Well, they held on to those titles for almost a year now, and the Street Profits being a coveted ring by Bobby Lashley. What's he doing out here? Well, he must have formed a partnership with this team, it looks like. Man, what a matchup this is set up to be. And, and a combined weight of 492 pounds. The, they are the TNW and ECW World United States Tag Team Champions. The team of Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Well, the Street Profits putting their championships on the line against the returning Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in Tornado Tag Team Action. We have been waiting for months, more likely for almost the past years, for the opportunity. But don't forget, Kevin Owens was a former member of the Black Crows MC, but that has been long overdue, and it looks like Cool 412 has forgiven Kevin Owens. Well, can you believe it? Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are back together in a TNW ring. And the crowd showing no appreciation to the Street Profits. Well, can you blame them? After all the disrespect of what's going on. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's all on the line here. Who knows what could happen of what's on the line here tonight. The TNW and ECW World United States Tag Team Championships are all on the line here. Well, it's on the it's on the line here for a reason. Those tag titles have a tremendous history 
since Carmine and Dominic unified the ECW World Tag Team Championships with the TNW US Tag Team Championships against against GTA Play in the form of Chucky and Tommy Fersady. We have a don't forget Mercedes was a former member of that team years ago in TNW history, and here we go. Well, their first night back together, the Street Profit, well, like their first night back together, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn trying to give it the role of what's on the line here tonight. Just think about this. If Kevin Owens wins here tonight with Sami, they could be walking out with some new tag team gold. No doubt about it. They've wrestled in the Indies together. They have a huge history together. Longtime best friends. And no doubt about it, two of the greatest you'll ever want to meet in a professional wrestling area. Yeah, no doubt about it, in a wrestling ring as well. But Bobby Lashley has formed a partnership with the Street Profits from the looks of it. And Bobby Lashley, the former TNW US champion and a former member of the Hurt Business, no less. Yeah, no doubt about it. Big splash by... Montez Ford is Angelo. Wait a minute. Montez has got something on his mind. Oh, my God. A suicide somersault over the top rope. Yet, though, folks, coming up next after this match, we already know that things have intensified enough here tonight. As we already know that the, the next match tag team tournament continues with another par participants that will meet the Hurricane and Mighty Molly next week in the semifinals. Well, this Thursday night on the HWF, there, there will also be two mixed match tag team matches, which will determine who's going to meet who in the semifinals. And yet, no doubt about it here, a lot could happen. April just fastly arrived. And by the way, though, happy birthday, Cool 412. We already know that this Friday, this Friday is Quilt 412's birthday, April the 12th. Maybe there might be a birthday bash on that day. Maybe there won't. Yeah, we just don't know that for sure. Wait a minute. Angelo was trying to bring in a chair. Kevin Owens tr trying to come to his best friend aid. His best friend's aid. And Sammy from behind. Hurricanrana on Angelo. And Montez Ford is in trouble. Yeah, well, Kevin Owens rolled out to the floor there. One-handed bulldog by Angelo Dawkins, putting their championships on the line. As Kevin Owens trying to help out Sammy. And Angelo missing his target. Owens with a lot on his, on his plate here. And he's got Montez where he wants him. But Angelo launching Sammy in the corner. Angelo. Montez launching Sammy in the corner. But Montez... It's going up top, and Sammy in trouble, and Sammy's getting back to his feet. Montez calling it, but Sammy caught him. Oh, Sammy caught Angelo off guard. Spinning splash off the corner, and a follow-away slam by Owens. Yeah, Montez rolling up to the floor right in front of Bobby Lashley, and Sammy back to his feet. Yeah, well, don't forget the war Sami Zayn has had of what's on the line here. Big shoulder tackle by Sami. And man, the Street Profits really getting their money's worth. And Sami with a big submission hold on Angelo, who escaped it. And Montez back in the ring right now. Big move again by Montez to Sami. Owens now back in the ring who got caught with a DDT for his troubles. Yeah, and a double-legged Boston grab locked in, but Sammy escaped it. Sammy escaped it, and the Street Profits title reign may be in jeopardy here. Well, no, no, I bad. Don't forget Sammy and Kevin Owens, the two best friends who've been up and down the road together, who knew this business very well, and they're both underdogs. Don't forget that. Angelo again with a weapon, bringing what looked like to be a kendo stick. There's a takedown. And Angelo from behind, but Sammy got back up. Sammy got back up, and the double team by the Street Profits, and Angelo and Montez may have the win here tonight. And oh my God, 
Angelo flew into Kevin Owens. And the big splash off the top by Montez Ford. Now Montez with a cover. But Sammy kicked out. Sammy got the left shoulder up at two and a half, and Montez Ford thought he had it. And right now, though, Bobby Lashley at ringside, trying to support his guys any way he can here. But Owens with a knockdown on Angelo. And Angelo should have thought better ahead of time. But it looks like Owens may plan for something here on Angelo. Oh, man, sending him into my announcer's table. And the matchup's still going on. A foot's on the line here. Oh, man, Owens looking for a package pile driver. But Angelo with a counter. Oh, Sammy back to, coming back here in this fight with a big right hand. Montez launching Sammy off the ropes. Sammy got caught into an arm drag. But Owens sending Angelo into the barricade. Right on Old Glory. And slamming him into the barricade. Right into Old Glory. And a big splash by Owens. Sammy in trouble. Oh, Sammy with a counter. What's Sammy going to do now? I don't know. Slamming his head into the corner for something here. And Angelo with a shoulder tackle from behind. And the Street Profits may take advantage. Cover, is that it? Two. Wait a minute, what was that? I don't know. Montez Ford interrupted the count. Angelo. With that big reverse version of the Spine Buster cover. But Sammy kicked out at two and a half. The Street Profits had it won here. Oh, you're dang right. This is Tag Team Wrestling. And Angelo again launching himself into Sammy. And these guys are daredevils as far as I can tell. The Street Profits are not going to give up of what's on the line here. Well, it's all on the line here as Kevin Owens, Sammy Zane, trying to give it their all of what's on the line. There's a knockdown. And that knockdown by Owens did the damage on, on Angelo. And Montez got launched right where that steel steps are. And Sammy from behind. Thunderbomb. Thunderbomb on Montez. Wait a minute. Trying to bring in more weapons into the ring. Owens has got Angelo right where he wants him now. Into an arm wrench shoulder tackle. And Owens is all fired up. Yeah, but what's Kevin going to do? I don't know. Kevin Owens with a cover. Could we have new champions? No. Let's shoulder up at one there, says our senior official. Good thing it ain't Tony Mamaluke. <laughs> stunner! Stunner! The stunner on Angelo Dawkins. Cover. Two. And Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are the new TNWDCW World United States Tag Team Champions. Here are your winners and the new TNW and ECW World United States Tag Team Champions. The team of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. What a win for the two best friends walking out of Little Rock, Arkansas. The new champions tonight. What a history making moment. It's unbelievable. The Street Profits' title reign is done. What a moment. And folks, we're not through yet. Coming up next, the Mixed Match Tag Team Tournament continues. That's live, and it's next. We are back live here in Little Rock, Arkansas. And here comes Nikki Cross. Well, Cross is in the building tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is going to pour one fall. Introducing first, from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. Well, Nikki Cross has been on a path of a losing streak as of late. As we know that we were told that IMP is in the building tonight. Set the score up for this statistic team, Nikki Cross and wrestling legend, Mankind. Yeah, well, don't forget, Mankind is a Hall of Famer. The man has been through so much in his career. 
Don't forget about that. Yeah, no doubt about it here. As the sadistic Nikki Cross. Oh man, just made her way to the ring. And folks, I'm even scared to be around her at this point here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Yeah, well, don't, don't forget, folks, TNW is a big-time show that nobody will forget since we've been around since 2012. Uh-oh. And here's Mankind and her partner from Parts Unknown weighing in at 287 pounds, Mankind! The alter ego of Mick Foley. Been through so much in his career. There's no doubt about that. As that man, Mick Foley, a.k.a. Mankind, the alter ego of Mick Foley, is going to give it his all tonight in this mixed match tag team tournament against IMP's own Luna and, of course, Damien Shadows, the new TNW World at War champion. Yeah, well, don't forget, Damien Shadows is still undefeated here in TNW. He's beaten every champion, one by a countout, the other by pinfall. And he hasn't yet been pinned or submitted yet. Well, don't know that about it, though. Because don't forget, Damian Shadows is still undefeated here in TNW. But can Mankind and Nikki Cross end the winning streak tonight? And uh-oh. And. The team of Luna and the TNW World at War champion, Damian Shadows, IMP. Well, Luna. So, man, I think Luna done a whole new look tonight. Yeah, well, don't forget, IMP is here in TNW for a reason. Both Millie and Luna are the four... For former ACW Women's World Tag Team Champions late last year and made an impactful history. But for Luna and Damian Shadows tonight, it's all on the line in this mixed match tag team tournament. Damian Shadows' undefeated streak on the line here as well. Can Mankind pin, be the one to pin Damian Shadows or will Nikki Cross be the one to pin Luna? And Damian Shadows may not get pinned or submitted here. Well, this is a lucky advantage point for Damian Shadows. Because don't forget the dominating factor of Luna. Well, that hellhound has already been through so much as it is growing up in her life. She's been rescued from the pound by, by her father-in-law, which is also known as her adopted father, Blitz. Yeah, well, don't forget, though, Damien Shadows came here to AC, came here to TNW after the longest, amazing ACW Next Generation title reign in history. And you gotta imagine, can his uncle, Richard Horvitz, be the one watching this live tonight? Yeah, well, don't forget, Damian Shadows is the nephew of Richard Horvitz. And IMP have been on a path of destruction here in TNW. Well, the only way to get to that, to get to that vocal point here in TNW is to win this mixed match tag team tournament. Because don't forget, if IMP do win the tournament this year, then they will receive, they will receive future title matches, and more importantly, will receive a big shout out to their favorite YouTube channels. Yeah, well, no doubt about it as Luna right now tag back in the fray as Nikki Cross with a Hurricane Rana. And Nikki now stomping away on Luna as Luna is in trouble. And Luna right now in trouble here. With an arm wrench clothesline by Nikki Cross, the sadistic one is fighting with, with his hellhound on the outside. Referee continuing his count at four. Damian Shadows still the holder of the TNW World at War Championship. And last month in March, Damian Shadows had his had his match with, with his protege, his teacher, Leon Hader. And more importantly, that's also quote 412's teacher as well. Referee had an eight count. Referee at nine. And it's a draw. Nobody wins here. Well, it's a draw. There's no winner here. Whoa. Jenny Winkman has ordered this match to restart. We'll be right back here, folks. Because we're being told this time, this match will have no count outs to ensure we have a winner this time. Oh, man, that matchup. We'll be right back here, folks. Stay with us. 
And we are back live here. The match has been restarted under no count outs to ensure we have a winner this time. After that double count out, looks like the business partner, Jenny Wakeman, along with Colt 412 and Commissioner Rico Constantine, wanted to make sure that this match continues until we have a winner. It's not going to what happened years ago when Sonic and Sally were in the mixed match tag team tournaments of years ago against Jey Uso. Well, lately, Jimmy and his wife, Naomi, and both of them got, got disqualified and counted out, and there was no winner at that time. Well, luckily, that's not going to happen again here, as far as I'm concerned. Looks like Quilt 412 and Jenny Wakeman wanted to make sure, along with Commissioner Rico Kernstein, the three of them wanted to make sure that there was no double count out and to ensure we have a winner tonight. Right now, though, Damian Shadows' winning streak is on the line here. Don't forget he's undefeated, has not been pinned or submitted yet because there's no doubt about it. It's on the line here tonight. And Mankind got knocked down right off the top rope. And don't forget Damian Shadows had a big matchup last month in March. And no doubt about it here, referee making the count and Nikki Cross interrupting it. Well, she can interrupt the pin. But however, she can't lay a hand on Damien Shadows or the match will end by a disqualification. Leaving the advantage point for IMP in the semifinals with Mighty Molly and the Hurricane. Yeah, don't forget the winners of this match will meet Mighty Molly and the Hurricane next week in the semifinals. And it's all on the line here right now. Yeah, don't, folks, don't forget it's on the line as Mankind... Swing and neck break it. Oh my God, on the concrete. But don't forget, there are no countouts in this match to make sure that we have a winner this time. The referee's not counting this time to ensure we have a winner. And this time, this will be a fair match. There's no doubt about it here, folks. Yeah, well, don't forget, Mankind feels right at home here on the outside. Yeah, well, don't forget, so does Luna. That Hellhound is in the ring for, is already in this matchup for a reason. Well, Luna's desperate. She wants to be champion here at TNW alone with Millie. And this is an opportunity for IMP to gain future title matches. Well, don't forget, Damian Shadows is still the TNW World at War champion after retaining the title over some tough, well, after winning the title over some tough competition in the form of the bounty hunter, the chosen one, David Christopher. Yeah, no doubt about it. And a tag has been made to Nikki Cross. Luna attack back into the ring. And a clothesline by Luna. Catching Nikki right in the face of that clothesline. All right now, though, there are no count outs. So anything goes on the outside. This is a regular DQ situation. You know that about it as Luna with a sit out power bomb taking Nikki Cross for the ride. And well, Mankind in the meantime, though, is really giving it his all here of what's on the line as well. Yeah, well, think about this. If Mankind could win, he might get a TNW World Heavyweight title shot against the Dark Prince, Bell Dizotta, in the near future. Yeah, well, that'll have to, that'll have to wait until after Invasion, because, folks, the TNW superstars, ACW superstars, and HWF superstars will not be the ones to feign their titles next month in May, because we just received word that due to the Invasion, the title matches are being put on hold until June. That was a big kick by Damian Shadows. They only got the left shoulder up at two and a half did Mankind. Because due to this war going on with the bloodline, and of course, all of our guys from TNW, ACW, HWF, along with GWE. Yeah, no doubt about it. And Mankind raking Damian Shadows' face off the top rope. Yeah, well, don't forget, Damian Shadows is, is already... have Millie and Luna as, as his personal bodyguards for a reason to ensure that this will be a fair match, plain and simple, throughout his illustrious career late last year. Yeah, no doubt about it, including this year. And Nikki tagged back in as Damian Shadows is down on the floor and needs to get out of the ring. Well, he's rolling out to the ring, it looks like, which could give, Luke, which could give Nikki and Mankind an opportunity here. And Nikki Cross, at verdict neck break around Luna, that hellhound is in trouble. He's to think of a strategy to come back here. Yeah, no doubt about it as Luna. In a world of desperation, trying to fight for anything she's got it. Oh, 
Wait a minute. Luna thrown over the top rope. The Hellhound trying to stay alive here anyway. She can it. Whoa! Nikki Cross with a hot shot, sending Luna out to the floor. And Mankind, oh my God! Cross body on Luna and Mankind chasing Damien Shadows. Like I said, Nikki Cross is sadistic. She's desperate. She'll do whatever it takes to win tonight. Wicked cradle shock. Oh my God, on the outside. Well, she's got to get Luna back in the ring here. It's the only way to win this thing. Oh my God, Luna got slammed face first off the steel post. And this matchup is still going on of what's on the line here. Well, it's on the line here. Who knows what could happen? Luna breaking it up there. Luna hammering away. There's a right hand by Luna. Get the folks where you know that coming up next after this matchup, Candice LeRae will take on Indy Hartwell in the number one contendership for the opportunity for the TNW Divas United States Championship since both Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell got eliminated by Kathy Professor. Yeah, but after Kathy got eliminated by one of HWS finest, that led to where it's a number one contendership match. But since Kurt Angle eliminated Spider-Man late last month, it still gives him an opportunity at the at the Hardcore Championship coming up in one week at the big event. No doubt about it, TNW Las Vegas in your house eight at one of the greatest casinos in the history of Vegas, the Adventure Dome, the Circus Circus. No doubt about it, cover of the match. Is that it? Two. Oh my gosh. My apologies there, folks. I think I may have drank too much too much soda tonight, paying homage to my hero, Colt 412. Well, MJ right now. Well, my apologies, folks, for right now, though. Mankind back in the ring along with Damian Shadows. Mankind with a hip toss. Looking to win it right here after that hip toss. Cover the match. Is that it? No. It's all on the line here. How much more can Damian Shadows hang on? I don't know. It's It's a war. Yet the folks still to come up in our main event. We already know that we're being told that in our main event, it will be, it will be Kurt Angle in one-on-one -on -one action. We're being told, apparently it's against GGP. Well, GGP, it's a non-title match for the TNW International World Heavyweight Champion and Luna saving Damian Shadows that time. Well, the bodyguard of Damian Shadows, one of the bodyguards at least, Saving Damien Shadows. Well, the referee didn't disqualify her because she interrupted the count. Well, it's legal. The partner can interrupt the count at any time they choose. But, however, if they lay a hand on, on any of the superstars, it will be a disqualification. Oh, man, Nikki. Looking for that swing and neck breaker. The sadistic swing and neck breaker on Luna. That one's got to be it. Is that it? Two? No, and Luna kicked out at two and a half. Now, yeah, well, Damian Shadows trying not to get disqualified for him and his team. And listen to the crowd. Oh, you're dang right. This is tag team wrestling at its best. And, folks, next week, Cool 412 and, and his brother Kyle Behan will put the World Tag Team titles on the line. And so will the TNW Tag Team Champions. Yeah, no doubt about it. Bad News Barrett, also known as Wade Barrett, along with his tag team partner, Grado. Oh, Luna, look out. She's got Nikki in the center of the ring with a submission hold. It's locked in. Oh, is Nikki going to tap or is she going to escape? Wait a minute. Luna just let her out for something. What's Luna going to do now? Luna from the top rope. Oh my god! A body splash from a far distance! That hellhound flew! And it looks like IMP picks up the win! And Damien Shadows remains undefeated. Here's your winners the team of Luna and Damien Shadows, IMP! Well, IMP victorious in defeating Mankind and Nikki Cross. And if I were Mighty Molly in the Hurricane, because they got a sadistic hellhound on the loose, and that young man right there, Damien Shadows, who remains undefeated. Yeah, though, folks, no doubt about it. Coming up next, 
Candice LeRae versus Indy Hartwell. The winner of the match will meet Captain Professor at our big event, TNW Las Vegas in your house eight for the TNW Divas United States Championship. Oh, that match is huge, and it's live, and it's next. And we are back live here because here comes Indy Hartwell with it all on the line for this number one contendership shot. Well, she lost the eight Divas Battle Royal along with Candice LeRae. And it's an opportunity that none of these gorgeous ladies want to slip away here. Yeah, no doubt about it. Let's go to our ring announcer for that young lady, Indy Hartwell. So, man, what could happen here? Ladies on the following contest. This gives you a 4-1 fall. Making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Former member of the way and a former ACW Women's World Tag Team Champions with Candice LeRae, the Death Pixie, already. Oh, well, the Pixie of Death, already going to give it her all. Actually, the Poison Pixie. My apologies, folks. I'm a little mixed up because this matchup is brought to you in part by Water Street Pizzeria. And man, man, if you're ever in Las Vegas, Nevada, or downtown Henderson, check out Water Street Pizzeria and try the gluten-free pizza. As Cool 412 promises, satisfaction. Guaranteed. And by Gordy Gameplay Reacts, Spider-Man Reacts. For more great wrestling content, superhero content, like Star Wars, Redeem of the Force, Chapter 5th, coming soon. And from Riverside, California, Candice LeRae. And also by Gordy Gameplay Reacts, Spider-Man Reacts. For more great wrestling content, unboxing content, superhero content, like Star Wars, Redeem of the Force, Chapter 5th, coming soon. And of course, GWE Wrestling, coming soon in May. Check out Gordy Gameplay Reacts, Spider-Man Reacts. Well, it's an all-out war tonight for the Poison Pixie as she has to go up against her former best friend and ally, Indy Hartwell. Well, don't forget the history between the two because they've already done it all. They were the former ACW Women's World Tag Team Champions. But after arriving to TNW's history books, Candice LeRae won the TNW Summer July Divas, the TNW Summer July Divas Rumble, and won the briefcase late last year to cash in and successfully won the TNW Women's Kickboxing Championship. Yeah, well, don't forget, Bell Dizotta late last year cashed in his briefcase and won the TNW World Heavyweight title. Yeah, don't forget, he's also the young man who won it all late last year. Not only to be the only Beyblader in history to be the ACW World Heavyweight Champion, but to be the TNW World Heavyweight Champion and the HWF World Heavyweight Champion. Gargano out here for his wife. In support, knowing of what's on the line here tonight. No doubt about it. But Gargano's case is, we're being told that he's getting a shot at the TNW Tag Team Championships against Wade Barrett. And of course, Grado excuse me, in a Tornado Tag Team Hardcore matchup against him and a mystery partner. Yeah, but we have no idea who it is, but we're going to find out. Come to you live next week. Yeah, but don't forget Kurt Angle's in the building tonight because we're being told that Angle is set to square off with one of GWE's finest. Well, that bad one of the, G the GWE superstars. But whoever it is, good luck. You're going to need it because no doubt about it. I think I knew why Kurt Angle was set to square off with anybody from GWE standards. Because from the looks of it, I think Kurt Angle wants to send a message tenfold back to Spider-Man of what's on the line. No doubt about it. Wait a minute. Actually, it, it, as I remembered earlier, as I said, it's against GGP. In an untitled match. Yeah, that's right. It's against GGP in an untitled match. We're being told that match is scheduled to be a hardcore match, which will send a message back to Spider-Man tenfold. And I think I know what Kurt Angle's trying to do here. Just don't forget the history between Spider-Man and GGP. Yeah, no doubt about it. GGP and Spider-Man have been through a lot in the GWE record books. And wait a minute. Gargano getting around the face of Indy Hartwell. I think I knew for a reason. I think he's trying to get inside her head, and the referee didn't see it. And it looks like referee letting it go here that time. And now they're fighting on the outside as Candace with a kick to the face on Indy Hartwell. Referee to two count. 
And it's all on the line here. Ref hit a four count. And Candace! Shades of AJ Lee with that Black Widow submission hold fully applied. Referee already at a six count. Referee at seven. Referee at eight. Candace fighting back here. Referee at nine. Candace and Indy need to get back in the ring. Indy's the first one in. Candace trying to get back in. It's too late. Indy Hartwell wins by a count out. Here's your winner. Indy Hartwell! Well, Indy Hartwell won by a count out and getting a shot at Cat the Professor's title. Well, if I were Candice LeRae, better luck next time. Yeah, no doubt about it here, folks. Stick around. Coming up next, Hardcore Rules, GGP versus the Olympic gold medalist and Hall of Famer and legend, Kurt Angle. Well, that matchup is huge and it's live. And it's next. We are back live here in Little Rock, Arkansas. And uh-oh. Here comes the man who will meet Spider-Man in one week from now. And this is the ovation for Kurt Angle here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Lee on the following contest is a hardcore match. Good to follow one fall, making his way to the ring. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Angle! Well, the 1996 Olympic gold medal winner from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and one of the greatest amateur wrestlers in the history of America. I know that about it. This is Kurt Angle's chance to fight for the TNW Hardcore Championship coming up in one week at the Adventure Dome at Circus Circus. Yeah, no doubt about it. One of the greatest casinos in the history of Vegas has a huge history attached to it. And no doubt about it, a lot of history will be made in that casino, no doubt about it. Uh-oh. Here comes the TNW International World Heavyweight Champion, GGP, who's got an open challenge coming up. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Weighing in at 225 pounds, he is the TNW International World Heavyweight Champion, GGP! Well, GGP's got an open challenge on his hands coming up next month, most precisely in one week from now at the big event, TNW Las Vegas in your house eight. Well, it ain't a Las Vegas in your house without that man, GGP. Even the even the Hazashi brothers, because folks, after the passing of Nana Helene over the past years ago, over the past months ago in January, we already know that coming up in one week, not only are we gonna have a memorial battle royal paying homage to Jeffrey Coles, but we are having one paying homage to Nana Helene. Well, in our Divas division, no less. And it's an opportunity for anybody that wants to pay tribute to Nana Helene in the Eight Divas Memorial Battle Royal. Yeah, there's just no doubt about it. Last year at the Jeffrey Cools Memorial Battle Royal, Igor Akabani gave it his all against Rikishi. Rikishi won it all that night, and Igor shook his hand as the ultimate show of respect. Both men gave it their all in there, and there was no doubt about it. Yet though, speaking of Iger, we already know that next week is going to be a war zone when Iger will defend his TNW World Cruiserweight Championship in an open challenge. Well, it's an open challenge to anybody in the back. Anybody from ACW or the HWF that wants a shot or any one of our guys from the TNW locker room, everyone is more than welcome to get a shot at the World Cruiserweight title. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's an opportunity for the Cruiserweight division Hip tossed by Angle. Caught GGP off guard there. GGP with a chop right to the back of Angle. Who didn't see it coming? Got that knife that's chopped to the back. Make a new better. GGP's trying to weaken those spine muscles. Oh, no, 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 no. GGP, don't do it. Oh, my God. GGP with a power bomb out to the floor on Angle. And GGP bringing in a table. 
Page and Kurt Angle, your table is ready. And man, GCP, resorting to his old hardcore ways like he knew how, way back in the GW's record books, since he competed in a TLC match with Jeff Hardy at, at GWE Mania, which was the third annual event. More than likely the fourth annual event, which was g Mania 4. TLC, tables, ladders, and chairs. And I gotta say though, it was a big night for Quilt 412 to be a part of that show. And more importantly, I myself was so happy to get a chance to commentate on the GWE roster. Yeah, no doubt about it. And not just on GWE personally, but also SmackDown in Mortal Kombat. And right now though, GSP got a steel chair. It was legal. No disqualifications. And Angle knocked the chair, sending GSP in gut first off the steel post. More likely off the steel steps, no less. Because don't forget, anything is legal in this match. Anything goes. Angle got GSP in a powerbomb position, but GSP reversed it, landing on his feet. GSP, the young man from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Runs one of the greatest GMOD wrestling shows in the history books, known as GWE Wrestling. And of course, the, also a director and a producer that knows how to direct a fan made film like Star Wars Redeem of the Force, Chapter 5th. No doubt about it. That's still been in production for almost the past few years now, while GWE took hiatus. But it was great to see Astro and Jenny finally married, husband and wife. And speaking of Astro, we know that next week he'll defend one of his championships in an open challenge as well. Well, don't forget, Astro Boy is a double champion in TNW history already after last year's show. And a kendo stick threw it right at Kurt Angle as leverage, but Angle caught GGP into a backbreaker. Angle with the cover. Is that it? No. Man, our main event is huge here thus far. And it looks like Angle is taking something out of Samoa Joe's playbook. TNW legend with that Coquita clutch. GHP escaped it. GHP, shoulders are down. Is that it? One, two, no. GHP was close. And he caught Angle into a crossbody. Oh, GHP's got the chair. Angle. Again, knocking the chair right out of GGB's hands. Because don't forget, anything goes in this hardcore matchup. These fans here in Little Rock, Arkansas, having a good time thus far. Northern Lights suplex by GGP. And already putting the championship on the line here. And GGP, look out! Launching him like a helmet chapel off the barricade. Face first. Angle again reversing. GHP, angle slam. Angle slam on the outside. Cover, is that it? Two. No. How the heck did GHP get the left shoulder up? I don't know. The match is still going on of what's on the line. This is pride. This is guts. And ankle lock. Ankle lock. Locked in on GGP. And oh, wait a minute. GGP escaped it. GHP hammering away now on Angle. Drop kick right to Angle. Man, what's GHP gonna do now? I don't know. Looking for another weapon. Oh, that's a that's a garbage can. GHP familiar with that weapon of choice. And oh, a kick to the spine by GHP to Angle. Sends the message tenfold. Yeah, no doubt about it. Angle getting back up, and GSP trying to prevent that one from happening of what's on the line here. Trying to fight for the honor for Spider-Man, it looked like. I mean, those two are tag team partners together. Yeah, no doubt about it. And uh oh And right now, though, folks, cameraman are already trying to wipe the... Looks like the cameraman is trying to wipe the, the lens right off the, off the lens of the camera. Gotta apologize there, folks. And wait a minute! GGP! Sharpshooter! 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 Angle escaped the sharpshooter. These guys have really met their match. If the ankle lock didn't do the damage, or the sharpshooter, but what else is next? I don't know. And there, here we go again with that Coquita clutch. It's GSP 
on, on his feet with the rollover. Angle shoulders are down. Referee is there. There's one, two, and GGP wins. What a win for GGP. Here's your winner, GGP. GGP got the win, defending Spider-Man's honor. Yeah, but if Spidey does that, he'll retain the hardcore title. Well, if I was Spider-Man, I'd be careful, because Angle will be electrified and fired up. You know that about it. We want to thank you all so much for tuning in. I've been your commentator, MJ. We'll see you all next time. Good fight. Good night. And thanks for joining us on my Goblin Night. What a night here live from Little Rock, Arkansas.